We start, though, with a common problem affecting as many as one in three couples, and that is snoring. Some people, it seems, make more noise when they're asleep than when they're awake. But male snorers outnumber women by three to one. Rex Sills is a member of the British Snoring Association, and with him is his long-suffering wife, Sue. Welcome to you both. You. Rex, what is snoring? Snoring is basically caused by an obstruction to the upper airway, which means that the air rushes faster across the soft palate and makes it vibrate. And it's that noise, like a reed in a saxophone, that, uh, that produces the horrible noise that keeps everyone awake. And so you've had to live with this? Yes, but it's improved since he's uh, become involved with the uh, Snoring Association. I mean, you set this up, Rex, didn't you? Because you a friend just, of mine did, yes. You got so fed up with, That's with the right. problem. Yes. yes, we found out that, that, that you can, can actually cure snoring. Mm. And there are many things that you can do. Mm. Talk us through them. Well, um, what, what did you do? Really, you need to find out, if, if you have the problem, you need to find out what's causing it. Mm. it. And it isn't always the same thing. It could be a nasal cavity problem, it could be, it could be a weight problem, it could be um, a lifestyle problem. Mm. Um, and what we have here are some of the things that you can help. Um, if you, if you, from the point of view of what we call the snoree, that's yes. the person who's got to listen to it, yeah. then uh, um, you might like to consider wearing some earplugs in the short term right. um, because these can um, reduce the problem and make sure at least you're getting some sort of a good night's sleep. Yeah. Yes. Um, so it's these earplugs, however, that cause me to have to go to the doctor now and again yeah. because I tend to get infections in the ears if I don't keep clean plugs. So it's right. very so important to be clean. Wear plugs but make sure they're it was clean. clean. It was at that really point when changed. I went to the doctor that he, he mentioned oh, that I should change my husband but um, this was... <laughs> it would have been much easier to change your husband. Anyway, carry on. Yeah. You're stuck with your husband. What do you do next? She, she changed her doctor. I'm <laughs> very glad to say. <laughs> so Rex, what do you use? Apart from watching my diet and that sort of thing, I, I also use what's called a nostril dilator. Um, this is actually called a noso vent and you insert it into your nostrils. It's quite comfortable and it helps to keep your nostrils, stops them from collapsing. Some people's nostrils collapse when they breathe uh, with their mouth closed and it also helps to enlarge the aperture that you breathe through and uh, making it very, very easy to... You'd like me to put this on, wouldn't you? Yeah, go on, stuff it in. <laughs> go on, shove it in. Why not? Anything on a Monday afternoon. Mm, We're very yeah. wild on this programme. Yeah, that's right, OK. Now, it looks as though it's obstructing my nostrils, but in fact, right. yeah. it makes it very much easier to breathe. You notice it instantaneously. And Sue, so you obviously find this a huge turn-on in bed. Well, I do try and ignore <laughs> it, actually. <laughs> OK, Rex, okay. so with your association, there's presumably yeah. a phone number people can ring, which we'll shove up on the screen. Yes, I indeed. presume the only advice is to get in touch with you and, um, you know, find out how you can Show them how to keep your marriage out. intact. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yes. Put you in touch with the right help as well yes. if you need yes. it. Yes. We've got the right help in Stephen. Stephen, do you snore? I'm certainly not going to.